It's called a python. Now they don't have legs, so to get around, they slither. And they slither using these fantastic scales, which grip the ground. And they have very strong muscles in their tummy to help them move forward. All over the place, wild baby animals are on the move. First up, let's take a trip to Tanzania in Africa. Here's an animal that's very fast on its feet, but blink and you'll miss it. Uh, what? Hey, where did it go? Ah, there she is. This is a Sengi, sometimes called an elephant shrew. I can't think why with that trunk-like nose. She's caring for her baby, which means lots of feeding. Drinking milk can be pretty tricky with such a big nose, though. Her baby is only a few weeks old, but like all Sengi, she's born to run. And already, she's almost as fast as Mum. Their powerful back legs make Sengi one of the fastest small mammals in the world. To help her speed around, she's even built her own racetrack. And it's the perfect place to go hunting for tasty bugs. Gotcha! To make sure nothing trips her up, she has to keep her racetrack clear of twigs and leaves. Go on, get out of it. It's so important, she spends half a day every day doing this. Imagine having to tidy your room for half a day. Boring. It's worth it though for a Sengi, because as well as helping her find food, a clean racetrack also helps stop her from becoming food. This monitor lizard has its eye on our Sengi. Good luck, Mr Lizard. I hope you've got your running shoes on. Oh, talk about fast food. The monitor lizard is much bigger, but our little Sengi is agile and knows every twist and turn of this racetrack. Stop running now. It looks like the poor old monitor lizard has run out of puff. <sighs> well done, Sengi. <laughs>